So overhead clamp stands have been an essential tool for me on my YouTube channel that I use all the time in order to increase my workflow efficiency. It also helps provide a unique perspective, an overhead perspective to the audience, which makes your video a lot more captivating and engaging. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use the Archon clamp stand to get a really awesome overhead shot. And I'll also share you this really awesome hack that allows you to get awesome audio without a mic in the shot and get a dual camera setup. And this efficient workflow for solo content creators is all possible made by this table clamp. First, I'm gonna do an unbox and setup, and then I'm gonna show you how it works. And near the end of this video, I'm gonna compare this Archon mount with some of its competitors. And I'm gonna answer the question, do I recommend this? Is it sturdy enough to hold something like this really expensive 4,000 piece of gear, which is quite heavy? This is the most important question. Obviously, it's gonna handle a smartphone or a tablet because those aren't as light, but would you trust mounting, let's say $4,000 worth of gear that is quite heavy onto this stand? Well, let's find out in this video. This is an amazing shot. So this is a clamp stand for DSLR, tablets, and phones. Optional ceiling mount bracket included as well. What I'm really interested in is that it supports DSLR cameras, which are typically huge, big, large cameras, as you can see over here. So you got the upper arm that goes from 19 to 27 inches. You have the center hinge, you have the vertical base pole, which is 18.25 to 29.5 inches, which is quite tall. And this is a telescoping, so it goes larger. As you can see, it gets much larger over here. Here you can use your tablet or phone. The mobile grip five phone holder fits phones up to 3.9 inches wide. And then the slim grip universal tablet holder fits seven to 18 inch in screen size, including the iPad Pro. And then in terms of the distance, it's 5.12 inches for the clamp base. All right, so this looks really promising. Let's unbox it. And you can see I'm using my other tripod and it shakes a lot, unfortunately. All right, so this already feels like high quality gear. We got our tablet mount, some instructions, more tablet mounts, our clamp base over here, and then some hardware to install the clamp base. And that's pretty much it. This is very nice, nice materials. Everything is made of strong metal, nice and heavy and sturdy. Wow, this feels like it's built like a tank, like absolutely very impressive. Open this up. Uh, wow, that's a really smooth motion. I like it. So it gives you a lot of flexibility what angle you want to hold it in. I just want to hold it right here. Now it's rock solid. So this is the smartphone holder. And this here is used for the tablets. And then we can customize how big we want them to be with this set of tools over here. Here are some instructions. Feel free to pause and see how it works. All right, so this is my table. It has no railings over here. And let's clamp it in. Now that's very sturdy, it's not gonna move at all. So immediately, I love how flexible it is. You can orient this in any angle you want, and that's what makes it so essential because you wanna be able to have your subject here, maybe it's this camera, and you wanna make sure that the camera that is mounted is pointing directly down towards the object. This is very important and something that cannot be overlooked. I've had some other table clamps that were more of a fixed position and you couldn't target it to the specific area you wanted to film, so that was kind of annoying. So there's a metal joint right here. You can just loosen it just like that, really quick release. And then you see you can have 360 orientation. That is very, very good. And then we have this large knob over here that we can lock it in as well. Lock in that angle. And it's super sturdy, by the way. It is like built like a tank. In my case, I kind of want the camera to be like right above here on the product shot. So the next way you can customize this is the base clamp. What you can do is you can pull this again and then you can lift it up. And you see how far it goes up? It goes up really high and I'm almost out of frame there. That is ridiculously high, but for our case, we don't need it to be that high. We can just go up to right here. And I love that quick release. It's just so easy to like just clamp it down and then you have a really sturdy surface. The next thing we can do is we have another quick release mechanism over here. You can release it and you can see it goes really far. So if you have a really wide table, in my case, I have a pretty narrow table you have a lot of latitude with where you want to move it. And like I said before, you have this ball joint, which is also controlled by this really handy kind of lever. Makes it very easy, very user-friendly just to kind of grab it and move it around. So for the purpose of this demo, we don't need it that far. You can just move it down here. The next thing we need to do is use the ball joint and connect this rather heavy camera to it. Now cameras always come with a quarter inch thread at the bottom. But in my case, I like to use quick release systems. There are two quick release systems that you can consider. One is the more standard Arca Swiss. It's a little bit more uh, cheaper to acquire that type of gear. And I do recommend getting that because it's going to be way easier than having to screw in your camera, especially when it's so expensive. It's just not the most user-friendly thing to do and not the most efficient. 
The preferred quick release system I use personally is the Falcom 38 system. So this is the Falcom 38 system over here. So this is the Falcom 38 plate. Over here, you can just screw it on with a quarter inch thread. In this case, we're just gonna attach it to the ball joint, screw it in, and then we can easily disconnect and reconnect the camera. So let me show you how that works. So just simply screw it in here. It's a one-time thing you need to, you'll ever have to do. Locked in. All right, so now it becomes so easy just to snap it in. It's also very satisfying if I may add. So it makes a nice click. And then bam, we got it. We're in business. Now I can angle this any way I want. Maybe let's keep it nice and straight. Let's tighten it up right here. So the best part about the quick release system is that it's so easy to get rolling. All you have to do is just slot it in. So I'm gonna pop it out, slot it in. Just look at that convenience. It's just absolutely amazing. This thing is really sturdy. It's like holding, a, this is a pretty heavy camera. Um, obviously I think it can hold a lot more weight, maybe a Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8, which is like one of the heaviest lens I ever owned. I'm excited to do a wobble test with one of the competitors, the Ulanzi heavy duty table clamp. That one was awful. I mean, it's probably going to lose in the competition because that one was super wobbly. So this is a different type of overhead tripod setup. It's actually on a physical tripod over here. And this might be advantageous in some certain scenarios where, for example, you don't have a table for you to work on. And maybe you want to do an overhead perspective from completely a remote location or something like that. This is quite good. However, I just don't like it because it requires a tripod. And I'm usually doing unboxings and, you know, filming my, my main shot on this table over here. So having this piece over here, by the way, this tripod is just completely separate. You have to connect it here. And then you would have to put a counterweight on it because if the further you extend it and you put like a really heavy camera, it would start moving over. So, and it would also get in the way. These legs would get in the way of the table. It's just very annoying. I don't really recommend it unless of course you have a very specific use case where you don't have access to a table. All right, so let's do a product B-roll test. I'm gonna put this down here and I'm gonna shake the table and let's see how sturdy it is. Now, of course, there's always gonna be some wobble when it comes to these table clamps. But what I've noticed is that it recovers really fast. So it wobbles for a bit and then it just becomes still. Whereas this Ulanzi heavy duty one, this one would shake forever and I would have to hold the camera. So it was extremely annoying. But let's do a side by side comparison test with this specific setup. All right, so we got both of them set up. Now in terms of flexibility and height, I would say they more or less go towards the same height. Like if I extend this one higher. Yeah, so it's about the same height as the Ulanzi. Obviously they're not set to that. I'm gonna just put them back to their original height. And they offer similar flexibility because this one also has a lot of movement. This one is slightly more movement, but at the expense of a less stable base. All right, so let's do the first test. Let's test the Acron mount. So I made sure to turn off stabilization on the ZV-E1. Now I'm gonna shake it. Try and shake it as much as possible. See the recovery time pretty fast. So I'm just gonna be Moving, moving the table around. Maybe I'm just a little bit excessive. Okay, so that satisfies for the first test, the ZVE one. Now, one little con with the Ulanzi heavy duty one is that I find it a little bit more difficult to get the right angle at times. It can be a little bit of a puzzle. Okay, tighten that one. Let's do the test. A little shake. A little shake. Okay, and then I'm gonna just bump it. And yeah, it's just super wobbly. It's kind of like, typically I would have to like hold it in to make it stop wobbling, but it's still going. So it just goes on forever. So not the best way to film something, honestly, when it comes from an overhead shot, because it can be a little bit nauseating for the audience, let's just say. Here's a more side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, the Acron mount does a better job at recovering from wobbliness. Overall, it's just a lot more stable. All right, so I'm gonna show you my favorite setup. I'm basically gonna get two cameras, the one that I'm talking to right now, which is my A-roll talking head. And then I'm gonna use this for a very nice B-roll overhead perspective. And the camera that's filming the overhead perspective is also filming the audio. The best thing about this setup is that, first of all, you don't have to have the microphone in a shot, so it looks a lot nicer, doesn't interfere with the way you're talking. And the mic is, you know, by definition, very close to your mouth. So you get that very professional sound. So let's set it up. So typically I'll take my A6700 and I'll just mount it right where it needs to be. In this case, I'm gonna just move it up a bit to get the perfect angle, just right over here. And then if I want, if I need to, I can extend this and obviously get the right angle, but here is perfect. 
Then I'm gonna quickly snap in my A6700 and then I'm gonna tweak this part over here, very simple. So we got that overhead shot like that, I'm gonna lock it in. Okay, great. Now the next part is you need your mic. Now, in my case, I can use this Sony shotgun mic. It's really great because I don't have to worry about audio levels. I just plug it in with, through the hot shoe and it's gonna point down. Now this doesn't give you the best directionality of the microphone, so it's better to use something like this. So this is my preferred setup. Even though you have to manually set the levels, a regular DD mic connected to a tiny little magic arm with a cold shoe. Now all I have to do is plop it in here. So I got the microphone connected to the cold shoe through this little magic arm and I can just simply plug it in. And the best part about the Falcom 38 system is that it's so easy to plop it in, connect, and there you go. Now this is an even lighter camera. It's a very small A6700 with a pancake lens. So it virtually doesn't shake at all when I move the table because it's so lightweight. So I can grab my chair, sit down, and then I got my overhead shot I can do here and I can speak into this mic and it's just absolutely amazing. So in conclusion, I have to say I was truly impressed with the build quality and how reliable this Acron mount is. Just being able to quickly mount it onto my table, put up a camera with my quick release Falcon plate. By the way, I'll leave a link in description for that. Set up a mic. I have a full professional sounding setup with a secondary shot. And then I can speak over there for my A-roll. It just screams efficiency. I love it so much. I think some of the best things about the Acron mount is that it's just really sturdy and reliable. I just like all the premium materials that it's made of. And also the flexibility, being able to move the joints, move them around as you wish to get that perfect shot. And best of all, it's really small and compact, so it makes it very easy to travel with. It's rather lightweight too. It packs down really, really small. And the most important thing is that I definitely trust my very expensive camera equipment on it. It's just super sturdy. I, I just feel very, very confident about how well it's going to support heavier camera setups. So that's it for this video. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out this table clamp by Acron Mounts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.